And the fourth period always does their homework. So first thing, guys, all right? Um, I was coming around checking a lot of students' homework, and some of these problems, the plotted problems, were the problems that students didn't complete, right? Because it made sense. These are the more difficult of the problems that they need to do, OK? But ladies and gentlemen, to get these problems started, one of the first things you guys need to do, which I do not think is very difficult, is plot the points and take a look at what coordinates you have, right? You guys can do that. And then try some of the problems that we go over. And if you get stuck, then obviously I can work with you. But it's very hard for me to help you on your homework if you haven't even started to plot the points. So I'm going to plot and label 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Negative 1. Q, R is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. S is 2, 5. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then T. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, looks fun. Now, what this problem is asking us to do is determine if we have a rectangle, a square, or a rhombus. Now, I like to be a pretty simple guy. Um, does that look like a uh, square? No. No, right? It doesn't even look like a rectangle, right? But we need to be able to show that it's not a rectangle or a square, all right? So let me draw you a picture of a couple of them. Here's a rectangle. Here's an example of a rhombus. And here's an example of a square. Okay, So what do the characteristics? Well, obviously, we know that rectangles and squares have 90 degree angles, right? But what we're going to look at, what I want to do is I want to look at the diagonals. All right. So if we look at the diagonals of each of these figures, what you guys will notice What? No, they can, but not all, not all of them have to be. OK. Remember, guys, on a rhombus and a square, the diagonals are perpendicular. Right? That means they create a 90 degree angle. That means their slopes are what we call opposite reciprocals. They're the same slopes, but they're the reciprocals of each other. One's positive, one's negative. Um, also notice that for a rhombus and a square, the, I'm sorry, for a rhombus and a rectangle, the diagonals are equal in measurement. OK? So what we can do is two steps. The first thing I would do is determine the diagonals of this figure. And if I can determine the diagonals, if I can determine the diagonals, are equal in measurement, then I know that it has to be either a rectangle or a square. And if they're not equal in measurement, then it has to be a rhombus. All right? And let's pretend they are equal in measurement. So if your angle, if your diagonals are equal in measurement, then to determine if it's a rectangle or a square, you can determine the slopes between the two angles. You can determine the slopes of the two angles and determine if they're perpendicular or not. So let's go ahead and look at the distance. Now you can go. So the distance formula. Might as well get a new pencil. So what I need to do is that's Q, R, S, that's T. So what we need to do, guys, is find the distance between our two opposite points. So the first one I'm going to do is TR. So if I want to find the distance between TR, remember, you've got to find x1 and x2. So I'll say TR, so I'll call that x1, that x2, that y1, that's y2. Then what I'll do is I'll just plug it in for the values into the formula. So therefore, I have negative 8 uh, minus 4 squared plus 10 minus a negative 6 squared. Then I now need to find the distance between QS. 
So I'll label those differently. I'll label that x1, y1, x2, y2. So then we go qs. And qs is going to be 2 minus a negative 6 squared plus 5 minus a negative 1 squared. Okay. So again, all we need to do is determine, are these equal or not? If they're equal, it could be a rectangle or a square. If they're not equal, it has to be a rhombus. Yes? Why is that an equal sign? That equals 6. Well, that's the distance. The distance of tr is equal to that. The distance of qs is equal to that. So why the distance is equal to that. Six. Oh, that's minus a negative. Yeah. Oh, OK. OK. okay. So therefore, this becomes negative 12 squared. That becomes plus 16, positive 16 squared. Over here, that's still under square root, so I'll just leave it. Over here, we have 2 minus double negative, so that's 8 squared, plus 5 minus 6 squared. Now, I'm not even going to, I don't even have to do the math. Is 12 squared plus 16 squared, is that going to be larger than 8 squared plus 6 squared? Yeah, obviously, right? Both of those numbers squared are going to be larger than those two numbers, right? So obviously, you can say that they're not equal to each other. You can do the math if you want to, yes? But remember, negative is a negative times a negative, which will be, make it positive, right? So I mean, it's going to be like 144. 16 is, um, I can't remember, 242 or something like that. 16 times 16. That's going to be much. This is only 64 plus 36, right? So even just 12 squared is larger than those two. So therefore, I can now determine that this is a rhombus. OK? And that's it.